Tim Jones Podcast, baby! Ah! <laughs> yes, sir. Eating cake, man. On the podcast, we about to get special. Got gems, got cake, got my dog. You all right, bro? You good? You had a good week? Yes, sir. Had, had a good. great week, man. Speaking, I'm glad you started off like that. Mm-hmm. Checking on me, man. Mm-hmm. They say black men don't really care about mental health and all that stuff. What do you think about that? That's true. You care about yours? Absolutely. <laughs> but see, I care about mine because I made an effort to keep up with it. You know, a lot of dudes don't keep up with their mental health and they just don't know why they be tripping. How you keep up with it? I'm called emotional intelligence. So therefore, speaking of, uh, <laughs> get to start early in the game. <laughs> Um, emotional intelligence, it lets you act out of logic instead of emotion. So instead of me kirking out and snapping, I'm going to sit back and be like, yo, I'm triggered. I'm upset. Let me think about it. So, um, you mm-hmm. know, I do that and like, damn, yo, I can put some logic behind this. No, most cats don't do that. Most cats get mad, upset, do some wild shit, and they say, no, they done fucked up. But you ever seen a nigga get so mad he punched the wall, keep punching it? <laughs> Like put a hole in it, break glass, throw mm-hmm. stuff all around the room. Mm-hmm. Like for what? For what? Like, what's wrong with niggas? And guess what happened to him? He, he wake up with a broken hand in the morning. <laughs> with all of the adrenaline over it. <laughs> now you gotta go to the doctor. Now you have doctor bills, hydrocodones, and a broken hand. Cause you wanna punch walls. Nigga like me, analyze situation. We ain't gotta go, we ain't gotta punch no walls. <laughs> <laughs> we, our hands functional like a motherfucker. I would never punch a wall. That's crazy. And I would never punch a wall over a woman. Which is why we here. Because, fellas, y'all got to stop punching walls behind women, bro. Y'all got to stop getting in your feelings, man. Mental health is important. That's why y'all be out here simping. Because y'all not taking care of yourself. Go to a therapist, man. What do you think about crimes of passion? Crazy. <laughs> because... A crime of passion be like, you shoot somebody 80 times, right? He was dead after the first five bullets. The rest of the 75 were wasting time. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? You find out your, your wife or your girl cheating, and you go kill dude. Simp. Because <laughs> when you, you find out your wife cheating, now you're in jail. You kill dude, guess what? Your wife is cheating again. So, crime of passion. Crime of... Crime, I'm in jail. He's yeah. soup for 30 years to life. If you want to kill somebody else, fucking your girl, you shouldn't have married him. Yeah, they said it ain't easy just to think and use logic all the time. Sometimes your emotions take over, though. That's true. Not with me. <laughs> That's true if you're a, a, a rock wall. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm a yeah. human. You're a human. We grown men. <laughs> what, what advice would you give people that to, to not get emotionally crazy? Find out what void you have in your life. And so that way you can recognize the trigger. Because, you know, that's nothing but a trigger. Like that lady that ran over her husband in uh, Norfolk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's crazy. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. It's those kind of situations. You knew this man won't shit from the jump. But since y'all are codependent, she probably was. Not in her right mental. He not in his right mental. Next thing you know, they wasting each other's time. Raw dick, two for twenties. Abuse, <laughs> manipulation, negative manipulation. Cause you do have positive manipulation. And she snapped, ran his ass over. Now I'm not saying that was right, but as a man, you. It should, won't right. <laughs> but like as a man, that's kind of on him, cause he should have known she was crazy. If you'd have asked her some. He knew she was crazy. Mm-hmm. He probably just. They say crazy girls the the best though. That's what I heard. I believe it. Ah, uh, why you believe that? I met some couple crazy girls and it was it was wonderful. What? But, <laughs> what sense do that make though? But, I messed with crazy girls and it was wonderful. I mean, the good part was wonderful. The bad part was treacherous. But that come with it though. Mm-hmm. That's why I'll never do it again because it ain't worth the, the treachery, the savagery. Fellas, I'm glad he said that. Don't be out here messing with crazy women, please. I know you want to save them. I know you want to put your cape on for them. Don't do it. They will use you because they're crazy and they people's never loved them. That's my jam bucket. 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, time out, time out, time out. I'm gonna get you to read this, bruh. Mm -hmm. This girl just did a challenge. Hey, I thought she was cool. I think she cool. I like how she looks. She like how I look. We, we, we like each other, so I guess we, we cool or whatever. But we ain't on a personal level. Mm -hmm. She just cut her hair. Mm -hmm. And I left a comment. All I said was, I'm gonna just let you read it, bruh. Just read it to the people, man. What? Don't say her name, though, because I don't want to. Oh, no. She cut her hair? Yeah. Okay, okay. She's pretty, though. One thing I learned. Oh, read it loud, bro. Okay. Read it. It's one live. Thing I've, you said, why you cut your hair? She said, one thing I've learned in my 30 days is to not let shit slide and speak up on my emotions. So, sir. Hold on, hold on. I ain't even read it yet. Mm -hmm. I just stopped right there. That's oh, why I stopped. Oh, it gets worse. It gets better. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, this is this is what we here for. This is what we here for. This man said, "Why you cut your hair?" Five words. I kind of don't want to read her response because this bitch is long, but I'm gonna do it for y'all. I'm doing this for y'all. She said, "Remember why you cut your hair?" That's it. That's it. She says, "One thing I've learned in my 30 days is not to let shit slide and speak up on my emotions." So, sir. Dot, dot, dot. Take your narcissistic bullshit elsewhere. What do you mean, why did I cut my hair? All caps. There's no, yeah, it's smoke. It is smoke. All caps. Because I fucking felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> she said that for real. Huh? She said that for real. Yes. <laughs> Verbatim. Word for word. I'm giving you all the, Dang, the, the detail. Bro. So one more time from the tizzop. Why did you cut, no, why you cut your hair? I want to add an extra word. I'm doing verbatim, word for word. One thing I've learned in my 30 days is to not let shit slide and speak up on my emotions. So, sir, dot, dot, dot. Take your narcissistic bullshit elsewhere. Exclamation point. What do you mean why did I cut my hair, question mark? Because I fucking felt like it. That's it, all caps, with the red exclamation marks. Not the regular Jones. These the emojis. So she had to probably do a little scrolling for that. And we're not done yet. We're not done, man. This is, this is, this is. <laughs> and no, I'm not mad. I'm actually sitting here eating dried mangoes that are absolutely delicious. Man. <laughs> I want to show y'all her picture and everything, but... Nah. And you know the crazy thing about this? This is the kind of girl that will have dudes in her DM willing to risk it all. I'm telling you. I'm glad she said that she's speaking up on her emotions. Mm-hmm. Emotions, man. Mm -hmm. Remember, fellas, women are driven. They're slaves to their emotions. Women are slaves to their emotions, which means that if y'all seen the movie Roots, when they were beating Kunta Kenta, he was like, what's your name, boy? Bow! He said, Kunta. That's emotions for women. What's your name? Ah, ah, hi, girl, Summer. It's like... <laughs> I just love the comment. I appreciate you. Honey. That's it. That's it, bro. Women get emotional, Come bro. Come on, man. And, and, and see, the thing about it is, she made that into a whole nother thing. <laughs> see, he just asked a simple question. Why you cut your hair? Oh, because I wanted to. That's all she had to put. That's it, man. That's it, but notice she gave us a whole thesis. See, you got to understand, it's out of emotion. Women will say whatever that feels good at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Never act off emotions, people. You will lose every time. Every time, bro. Every time, There's man. no logic. Just sit down and think, like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. A, B, C. You think off emotions, you're going to be like, I'm going to do this. <laughs> M, N, J, X, Y. You're just going to just chill, man. Just. You don't got to curse. You don't got to be disrespectful. It's not ladylike. Stay calm. Yeah, oh my God. That's uh -oh. another topic, bruh. I was just talking about that on social media. You said that's not ladylike. It's not ladylike, bruh. I was talking about Marilyn Monroe, man. Ooh, let's go. And how, how soft-spoken she was. Mm -hmm. Like she speak nice like, hey, boys. Mm -hmm. How y'all doing? They say, what you wearing today? I forgot, I think she said some. I forgot what she said, but she mm -hmm. said something so sweet, mm -hmm. and her voice is so gentle. Mm -hmm. But she was, uh, I'm gonna say she was toxic, cause she was a pill popper. She was promiscuous. She was dealing with adultery, but she was soft spoken, 
like a lady, like a soft woman. But they always throw all the extra stuff in. She was a prostitute. She was doing it. She was doing that. And I think of all like, like look at Cardi B on camera twerking, bending over, smoking. Like ladies back then weren't acting like that on camera. They wanted to be looked at as nice. Like, they want loud, ghetto. It's like now being loud and ghetto is cool. But they just like, times change. Women ain't like that no more. I'm like, Y'all think it's cool to be loud and ghetto, man? What's wrong with being nice and soft-spoken and sweet, man? What type of girl you rather go for? I want that soft-spoken and sweet. And they say them girls bow down and submit, let men run all over top of them. Nah, they don't. They just chill. And you know what? Those women will never have a problem being married. Them submissive Ooh. women always had... Look at Marilyn Monroe. She had the fucking president and cheating said, on his wife. Yeah, dudes falling at her feet. At her feet. Rich niggas. Not them, not them Burger King niggas y'all fuck with. Not them, not them, not them, uh, the, the lower level, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the niggas that cut turkeys and shit. Not them niggas. She had <laughs> top level dudes. And I ain't, trying to, I ain't trying to sound like no coon or nothing. Because mm -hmm. I love my black females. But mm -hmm. My black queens or whatever. But most black females don't like the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. But you don't never see the Kardashians loud and ratchet twerking and all that stuff like they look good to me even though some their bodies might have surgery yeah. but they nice they're feminine soft. oh feminine perfect word man they feminine but they be like they be selling all our black men just using them you know why could be like feminine women <laughs> the fuck <laughs> i won't go say that though but Yo, i'm gonna say that shit <laughs> we fly high you know that you know bullet i'm gonna say that shit nigga with cake in my lap, nigga. Cake in my lap, tote on the strap. Hit from the front, then from the back. We like feminine women, fuck out of here. <laughs> you feel me? I don't wanna date another nigga like me. I want a woman that says yes sir, no man, whatever. I say go left, she go left. You bitches, go right. You're done, you're out of here. If I say I want vanilla <laughs> cake, you bring me chocolate, you're done. You're done, fella, stop falling for that shit, man. Stop, bro. Y'all niggas be over here with Steve Harvey ass bitches that don't want to listen to yeah. shit you gotta say that you wonder why you sweat. Yeah. I'm dropping these fucking gems, man. I'm doing it for the culture. In the fucking rain. I get tired of seeing you masculine ass women talking about so I ain't listening to shit. I cook, I clean, I don't even need a ring. You're sad. You're fucking sad. You're gonna be 50 with cats, great credit, no you. Hey, yo. I'm sorry, I, I got, I got, that's passion, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got, I got, I got passion on God, you went to Jupiter just now. I did, bro. bro. Ah. Oh yeah. my God. That should, yeah. that should be burning me, bro. They, they think that shit cool. They think it's cool to be outspoken, yell, loud. Marilyn Monroe always had niggas in her corner. You know why? Cause she was feminine. She smelled good. Yeah. She wore dresses. She was uh. nice. Oh my God! Make black women nice again. <laughs> make white women nice again. Make it make women nice yeah. again. Period. <laughs> period. Y'all yeah. be tripping, trying to be like us, trying to pay bill. I got a house, a car, this, that. I got. A, you might as well have a dick too. Might as well. <laughs> you might as well go to the store, ask for the magnums, come home and just fuck your man's. Cause I, I mean, got, I got tears in my eyes, <laughs> bro. Y'all are tripping. <laughs> He said, because we like feminine women. <laughs> no, I was about to say. And they said, the Kardashians, yo, look at my eyes, bro. Because uh, the Kardashians, like, I mean, because uh, like, the Kardashians be stealing all our black men, our black men stupid for messing with them. Shit. But, they don't steal us, we run. Yeah, I was about to say, it ain't like they actually set traps and they fall in them and they put spells on the black dudes. The black dudes actually be chilling. They see them, and the black dudes pursue them. It ain't like they like come here, come to me. They actually pursue them girls, man, cause they they lady like they feminine, man. Like what he was screaming about was real, <laughs> though. All that outspoken stuff, man. All that independent. Ain't no wrong with independent, but all that I don't need a man for nothing. Lot, bruh, I hate a loud girl, bruh. Smoking on camera and stuff. <laughs> like twerking or bending over, putting stuff on social media. 
that stuff is out there forever. Ever. Like, do you want to be remembered like that? I know y'all gonna say, I don't care what people think about me. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's called validation, and you fucking thrive off it. Stop playing with me, man. I'm not, I'm not with, I'm on all bullshit today. I'm not with none of that shit. I'm not hearing it. I'm not hearing it. You need validation. It's like fucking water, and you're gonna twerk, shake ass, and put an ass posted picture <laughs> for that shit. <laughs> Yo. <Yeah. laughs> Validation, man. But yeah, though, man. Most dudes just. It, I'm. I think all dudes like feminine girls at the end of the day, man. We do. It makes us actually want to help you and provide for you and protect you and be there for you. We're like, yeah. oh, shit, I want to take care of her. It yeah. unlocks. It's in our DNA. Yeah. So y'all can chill out with all that outspoken, loud, and disrespecting the nice feminine girls talking about some they weak and all that type pick of pick me's yeah pick. you damn right we picking them <laughs> yep and we know them girls they got their flaws too like mm -hmm. they might be depressed like back to Marilyn Monroe she popped pills she involved herself in adultery but it take two to commit adultery so it ain't like she just was like, come with me. I want you to cheat on your wife. He, he wanted to cheat on he his want, wife. She didn't have a gun to his head. She like, yo, come here, bro. I'm going to need you to come to this hotel. Yeah, yeah. Come to this telly, nigga. No, they went willingly. They probably ran. You know why? Because the wife at home was outspoken, <laughs> not listening, yelling. So he said, you know what? I'm going to go to Maryland, Craig, because Maryland ain't doing none of that shit. Maryland talking nice as fuck. And she smelled good. I'm out. I'm out, Betty. Right. Hey, I just thought about it. Mm -hmm. I was with a girl before. It was the first time I cheated. I don't go around cheating, so that like I'm like it's breathing. It was just a moment I had. I was young and living life, so I was young and dumb. So my girl, my girl was she was ratchet. She was loud. She smoked. She drank. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. When I met this girl so nice. She was like rubbing on me, massaging me and stuff. Never arguing, never being disobedient. I ain't a master or nothing. But she was just so nice, like just a breath, breath of fresh air. Like every time I'm around her, I was just happy. Like I just wanted to smile. I used to go home, sit in the driveway, like I gotta go deal with this. <laughs> like I just sit in the driveway, dread like, going to see my girl. Now I go up in the house. Don't even speak to me. Frowned so, all up in the face. I go see the other girl. Hey, boo, how was your day? Come and hug me, kiss me on my neck. I'm like, I might as well just leave my girl. And I did. <laughs> oh, balling! We fly how you know that, no lie. He left her at, I would've too. And Fuck they, it. And they said if you leave your girl for another girl, you gonna cheat on that girl too, no. Fake news, <laughs> wrong. I was so happy with this girl. It was crazy. Crazy. <laughs> it's called an upgrade. We went from a 2002 to a 2020. God, Super God. happy. Got the warranty and everything. Y'all playing. Y'all niggas playing. So, yeah, man. Chill out with all that loud, outspoken stuff, man. Chill. And watch how the man run to you and actually want to be with you. Instead of sitting in the driveway, mad they got to come home to your masculine ass. Tighten up, man.